Now available in paperback and Kindle, All About Marilyn. Learn all about the struggles of a faded former teen sitcom star in this absolutely fabulous five-star screenplay. Get All About Marilyn in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com today. One of my viewers wanted to know why some parents pimp their kids out to Hollywood and Hollywood predators. And the answer to that question is very simple. These parents are caught up in their greed for fame and success. And because they're so caught up in their greed for fame and success, their ambition knows absolutely no boundaries. Now, when it comes to the entertainment industry, there's a name for these kinds of parents, and they're called stage parents. And usually these parents go and stand backstage behind the scenes looking to nag and coerce their children into becoming an entertainment superstar, hoping that by going out here and being extremely strict and authoritarian, they can go out here and make their child into a success because many of these parents feel insecure about their own lives and to overcompensate what they want to do is make their children into the success they basically could not become. Now, the stage parent is very similar to the Asian helicopter parent who basically goes out here and hovers over their child, going out here being extremely strict and hovering over them, trying to make sure that that child is absolutely perfect in every way, shape, or form in order to get the success that they were told that Madison Avenue and Hollywood were going to be able to give them if they go out here and conform to their standards. That's what the Asian helicopter parent believes as related to buying into Asian and Western culture. And the same thing for the stage parent. They have basically bought into Madison Avenue and Hollywood's ideals of becoming a success in the entertainment industry. And they're willing to do anything necessary to get that success. And they could care less about taking care of their the, the mental and physical and spiritual health of their child. No, the ultimate thing that they want is to get their child to rise and become a star and become a star to the point where they can be able to become so wealthy that they can go out here and live vicariously through the child's success and enjoy the benefits of the child's wealth that they earn from working on different projects. That is the main reason why many of these parents go out here and pimp their kids out by making them skip school, making them skip memorable events like hanging out with their friends and make them go out here and go and avoid doing things like basic things as related to their childhood development. No, what these parents get is tunnel vision and they take their child from audition to audition and taking them from place to place to get casted into different projects get them cast in different projects so that they can start climbing the imaginary social ladder and start to go on that road on that quest for stardom. Now, in the sad case of these parents, they basically don't really see their children as people. No, what these parents basically see their children as is an attachment for themselves, an attachment that they believe will be someone who they can use to be able to create a covert contract with the entertainment industry where they will go out here and take their children these attachments hoping to get attention of these people in the entertainment industry and hopefully get that covert contract fulfilled where that child gets cast in a role that they believe will help start pushing them on the road to becoming a star in the entertainment industry so that's the reason why many of these parents again don't really care too much about their children because they basically turn their children into a commodity and because the child is a commodity what they want to do is again trade that commodity for going out to get money from the roles that they play and also looking to get the social currency and again as they're looking to get these things like money and get up on the and up the Hollywood social ladder and get this social currency what they don't see is what they are sacrificing as related to their children and what they are sacrificing as related to their children is their natural development 
because when these because of this overly ambitious person again because they're so caught up in looking to get what they want they don't see what they're taking away from their children and because they don't see what they're taking away from their children what happens is is that instead of this child developing to become a healthy child what happens is is that this child winds up on the road to either becoming a man or woman in crisis that's what happens to many of these children who are again pimped out by their parents these parents basically in their quest and their for their overzealous ambition wind up taking away that child's ability to have a childhood I mean, and as they take away that ability for that child to have a natural childhood, these people become extremely detached and disconnected from their children because, again, they don't see their children as people. They see them as objects and attachments. And because they see them as objects and attachments, instead of loving and nurturing that child, what they do is abuse that child. And if that child doesn't go out and perform the way they want to perform, this is where that, that parent will go out here and physically abuse that child to express their anger and frustration, or they will go out and emotionally abuse that child to not really meet that child's emotional needs, and they will, as they emotionally abuse that child, that child will basically become extremely um, anxious because they don't know what to do to please their parent. They will go again to these extremes, and again, this will basically just destroy this child as related to things because they just don't know how to function in life. And even worse, they don't really teach their child the proper male life skills or male or female male survival skills. And in, in addition to that, they model dysfunction in front of their children. And all of this does a lot of devastating damage to a child as they're trying to grow up. As this child is trying to grow up and learn about life in the world, what they do is learn cruelty from their parents. And as they learn cruelty, they learn that they can't get any peace from the people who they are supposed to trust to care for them because the parent is more caught up in their ambitions for success. And as they're caught up in their ambitions for success, they don't really care about the child. No, all they care about is getting what they want which is either the attention or and the money and they don't care to the point where they're basically just it's like living with a complete stranger and that's really sad because the strangers usually care more for the child such as the agents and the managers but sadly because the relationship is commodified there's no one there to really care about the child as a person and what happens to a lot of child stars is that they basically as they are growing up they go to look to escape, and as they start to enter into adolescence, they start to escape to places like I call in the man crisis and the woman crisis, the secret world, a world where they basically feel safe about expressing their natural masculinity or natural femininity and their natural sexuality, and it's only in the secret world where they feel like they can be the person they can actually be, but sadly, as they enter the secret world, they are trying to escape through vices, and as they escape through these vices, what they do is wind up getting involved with drugs and alcohol, getting involved with drugs and alcohol because they basically cannot get their emotional needs met by a parent that will nurture them or care for them because their parents basically are blinded by the quest to get success in Hollywood. And that was shown in a movie called Gypsy, which was starred... Um, uh, Rosalind Russell and, and another child star who suffered a lot, um, Natalie Wood, and that movie basically showed how over how the overly ambitious stage parent can basically destroy a child's life and destroy a child's development because as Rose Hovick in the movie basically wanted to go on this quest to make her child a success out of desperation from being impoverished. She basically wound up destroying all of her children and destroying her relationship with her children. But what was worse was she wound up destroying her daughter, Gypsy Rose Lee, by compromising her character, compromising her morals, by 
have by pushing her to success to the point where she had her on the road to being a burlesque dancer and this basically led to the relationship between her and her mother straining and tragically what happened was instead of the daughter becoming um, somebody who had somebody to love what she did was eventually wind up becoming just like her mother and even though she got the success it basically cost the, her her relationship with her mom and again that's really sad because it just shows how what can happen as related to the ambitions and the greed of these people again when it comes to the people like this who are these stage parents they basically their eyes glaze over and they're so caught up in their quest for success they can't see how they're failing their children similar to what's happening with the asian helicopter parent they're so caught up in their quest for success they can't see how they basically are failing their children and destroying their lives yes you'll have a child who may make a lot of money but sadly they won't have any of those intangibles of character like having good morals having good values having a moral position sadly they won't have any sort of dignity or integrity no you've scrubbed all of that away in the quest to get this success and that quest for success is something that these parents do as related to their quest for the greater good and in that quest for that quest for the greater good what they do is great so great evil and as they sow this great evil what they do is basically wind up destroying their child and destroying their child and making it where they just have no spiritual peace i mean that was shown in the case of joe jackson who made his son michael into one of the greatest entertainers of all time in his ambitious quest and in that ambitious quest sadly he wound up destroying michael's life because he never had a childhood and because he never had a childhood he basically spent his entire 50 years on this earth later on again looking to get that experience those things that he wanted to experience in childhood that he never did and sadly michael wound up on the road to becoming again a man in crisis dealing with anxiety as related to being trying to be a star to the point where he couldn't even sleep and this is where he wound up taking the drug propofol that sadly led to the his tragic death and him being in the presence of predators like the alleged dr conrad murray who basically just was the guy who gave michael the propofol again a an anesthetic drug because he had such anxieties about performance and again the whole situation with michael jackson shows what happens with these parents that as they start to get older what happens is these kids grow into adolescence and as they are objects what happens is they what happens is the relationship between the parent and the child gets strained and eventually the relationship between the parent and the child gets strained so much that eventually the the child separates from the parent or what happens in the case if the child becomes a faded performer what they do is abandon their children they abandon their children because they don't see that child as a person and because they don't see that child as a person what they do is again discard that child and again don't see that because that child is not a commodity anymore that they can make money off or get attention from and again basically a dehumanizing thing to do to a child i mean it's just one of the greatest evils is the stage parent and again they will pimp their kids out to hollywood in order to get that fame for themselves similar to the way that people who were a part of the children of israel sacrificed their children to molech which basically was a, a false god which was a demon and this is what these hollywood stage parents do they're sacrificing their children to molech and as they sacrifice their children to molech these children get preyed on by a whole bunch of predators and this was talked about on the documentary that was on max called quiet on the set and on the documentary quiet on the set they talked about how predators like pedophiles basically ex look to exploit the children on the set of these nickelodeon shows allegedly and those children were put in that jeopardy basically by overly ambitious stage parents overly ambitious stage parents who were caught up in their greed caught up in their greed for money caught up in their greed for fame 
caught up in their greed for clout, and again, looking to use their children as attachments to get ahead in the entertainment industry, looking to get ahead in the entertainment industry at any cost, because in their eyes, it's all about the end result, but the end result that they get is not the riches and fame. No, what they get is a broken child who basically cannot function, like in the case of Gary Coleman, and in the case of Dustin Diamond, what you get is a child who cannot function in the real world when they become adults, and they, because they have no support system, because people in Hollywood are very shallow, because people in Hollywood really don't care about people like that, no, because Hollywood is a place where they see people as property. I talk about this in my screenplay all about Marilyn. They don't see you as a person. They see you as a piece of property, a piece of property that they can go out here and build wealth with as related to making a person a box office star. And they basically trade people like stocks and bonds. And as they trade people like stocks and bonds, they don't really see a person as having a value as a human being. And the many parents, again, they see their child the same way that these Hollywood agents do and Hollywood people do. They don't see you as a person that they love or care about. And that's the whole thing that's really toxic about Hollywood. It's toxic because you have a child who's growing up in this environment where they never get any sort of love, nurturing, or care that meets their emotional needs. No, it's all about how much money people can make. It's how much money they can make off this, off this property. And this, again, dehumanizes the child and makes the child and put them in a place where they just feel like there's nobody who loves them because everyone is completely detached. And what's really scary is that the parents are the ones who are the most detached. I mean, they're completely detached from reality, detached from the reality as related to the needs of their child. And this is how they can pimp out their kids to Hollywood and put them in the presence of predators like these sexually deviant pedophiles Put them in that presence of that person because they don't really care about the child. No, all they care about is getting ahead by any means necessary, and they're willing to do anything necessary to get their child ahead, thinking that at the end of the day, everything will be good because they will be able to live a, a high-class life and be around high-class people. But the irony is, is that you put your kids in another type of ghetto, and in another type of poverty, a place where they are emotionally and spiritually poor. Yeah, their pictures are all over the place as related to movies, TV, and poster plastered all over on posters. But the picture just shows a face that shows the sadness behind the smile. That's what we see as related to these entertainers who are child performers. They wind up getting, they wind up with the sadness behind the smile because they don't have a mother or father that loves them. And that's the whole saddest part about the whole entertainment industry is that, yeah, that person, that child you see basically is somebody who's on their way to becoming what they say is a star, but they're fallen and sunken inside spiritually because they have no love in their life. They have no peace in their life. And the poor kids who watch them and have a mother and father um, in their lives and who love them and care for them are doing better than they are in poverty because spiritually that person is at peace with themselves. And as they're spiritually at peace, they're able to grow up and have the childhood that that, that child star basically covets. That's the whole sad tragedy of Hollywood as related to children. Again, children put on a road by, again, overly ambitious and greedy parents who are too stupid to see the damage that they're doing to their children, too stupid to see what they're doing to destroy their child's lives because it's all about sating their feelings about getting success. But that road to success basically is like a mule with a carrot because you're just going to keep chasing or chasing down this road, a road that eventually leads to the destruction of the parent and the child and basically destroys both parent and child and makes sadly the child a twofold child of hell because the child doesn't have that foundation in God because they do, are put on a road that they were born in sin then put on a road to more sin and depravity 
all because these people wanted to travel to Hollywood to get that success, but that success fails that child at the end of the day as they're related to the rest of their lives, and sadly puts those child from being on a road to being a star in Hollywood to becoming a Hollywood man or woman in crisis. Now this was a video requested by one of my viewers and if you want to request a video, you can send a donation for a minimum of $15 to the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box to the Cash App or the PayPal. And if I know something about that subject or that person, I will make that video for you. And if you'd like to learn more about what leads to children winding up on the road to becoming men or women in crisis, you can pick up my books, The Man Crisis and The Woman Crisis on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. And if you want to learn about what happens to faded former teen sitcom stars and child performers, you can pick up my book, All About Marilyn, which goes in depth on the struggles of a black teen performer who wound up struggling in Hollywood. And you can pick that book up by clicking the links in the description box to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, all about Nikki, a fabulous first season. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air meets Clueless in this absolutely fabulous African-American 1990s teen sitcom. Get all 13 episodes of All About Nikki, the fabulous first season in paperback and e-readers today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.